This recording covers Boyle's Law. What we're going to be looking at here is the interrelationship between volume and pressure. And what happens is volume varies inversely with pressure at a constant temperature. Our math equation for this one is that P1 V1 equals P2 V2. This is a math equation that you need to memorize, and you also need to memorize that the name for it is Boyle's Law. If we were to graph this relationship where we would have V as the independent variable and P as the dependent variable, as we increase the volume, we would see the pressure drop off. And this is typical of an inverse relationship. An inverse relationship means that as one thing goes up, for example, pressure, we would see the volume decrease. And we see that here as we increase pressure, as we move up this way, the volume actually is going to fall off. Let's try working a couple of equations. The first one here is a balloon contains 11 liters of helium gas at 101.3 kPa. What is the balloon's volume in Denver at 85.3 kPa? And we're going to assume the temperature is constant. So what you need to do here is make sure that you match up your variables. So we have 11 liters at 101.3 kPa. So our P1 is 101.3 kPa. Our V1 is 11 liters. What is the balloon's volume? We're looking for V2. So let's put a question mark there. And our P2, once we've reached Denver, is 85.3. We go ahead and plug these in. We have 101.3 times 11 equals 85.3 times V2. When you solve for V2 and only use two significant figures, you get that V2 equals 13 liters. And as always, when you're writing down your answers, put a box around it so that whoever's reviewing them knows you're done. Let's take a look at a second example. We have a, compiston, a piston compresses the air in an 0.52 liter cylinder to 0.12 liters at 760 millimeters of mercury. What will be the pressure in the cylinder after compression? Let's go ahead and do a little drawing here of what we're looking at. We've got a piston. So there's our plunger on the piston. We start off and uh, we've got 0.52 liters down here. We're going to push the piston down. Now we only have 0.12 liters, so we've pushed the piston down. We know that our pressure here is 760 millimeters of mercury. And it says, what will be the pressure in the cylinder? And so here, we're trying to figure out how many millimeters of mercury we have. So we write this out. P1V1 equals P2V2. 760 times 0.52 equals P2 times 0.12. We're going to be limited to two significant figures. And when you go ahead and work this out, you get 3,300 millimeters of mercury. And again, put a box around it so that everybody knows you're done. You're ready to start some practice boil problems now.